this video, I just want to talk a little bit about our sale, our warm weekend sale. I got the idea that it could be cool to just take the three warmest instruments in our collection, or at least three of the warmest ones, and put them on a special offer for all of you guys, only through this coming weekend here. Um, I'll play a little bit with them in this video as well so you can hear what they sound like. Uh, but I just want to talk about them because they're all very personal instruments to me and just give you a little bit of an insight into why we picked these particular instruments and what's so damn warm about them. So the first one is our 1985 Estonia Grand Piano. We've recorded many pianos over time. We always look for unique characters and identity in the pianos, um, especially if they have that more emotive, filmic kind of quality. And the 1985 to me is the softest, most feathery grand piano we've ever sampled. It's 66,000 samples. We also did when a chord articulations, there's short notes, a variety of different special effects and so forth. Um, six vintage microphones, but it really, really just plays so sweetly on the keys. Um, I'll try to show you to the best of my ability what that means. Um, the other instrument, which is also super near to me, is our Pesantar. Um, this instrument is very unique. There's only one of them in existence. It was created by the wonderful musician and luthier, Mark Deutsch. Um, we actually took an upright bass with five strings and modified it so it has 39 strings including a patented resonance chamber that lies on the back of the neck of the instruments. So sometimes when you play it, um, you will hear it, particularly on the arcs and the sustains, uh, Mark described it as cooking. You sort of excite the instrument and it starts cooking and breathing out all the small, beautiful notes from the resonators. It's such a delicate, awesome instrument. Um, I also use the plucked articulation as a jazz bass. I've done that for many years. It's a really, really beautiful instrument. It's been used in a variety of movies and TV shows, Vikings, Game of Thrones, so forth. Um, the third instrument in the collection is also near to me because it's one of the first instruments I purchased that was in a sort of more expensive price range. Um, this is our alien drum or aka the infamous hang drum, second generation. Um, we sampled it both with fingers and palms and muted and with brushes and with mallets. But when we did the mallets, um, the hang drum is very sensitive. It's made of a specific very thin alloy between steel and brass. So you're not supposed to use mallets on it and it got slightly detuned, so we actually sent it back for repairs and recorded one more time, uh, very delicately with the mallets as well. So you have all these deep sample articulations for the Alien Drum as well. And that's our warm weekend sale. Um, I just think these instruments for me all ooze warmth and um, let me just show you a little bit what they sound like. I'll see you in the door.
Next up is the Bassane Tar. Um, I'm gonna play first with the multi samples. We got pluck, tapped, sustains, sustains with vibrato, and then four different types of arcs. And on top of that, we have a wealth like thousands of different phrases. Um, I'll just play you some of them as well. Uh, let's get into it. And that's the percent tar. Uh, let me wrap up this little video here with our alien drum, also known as the hang drum. We have the coolest UI here. Um, I wanted like, because it looks like a spaceship. So I wanted the animator to just try to create a spaceship UI actually. You can have a lot of fun with this library. Thank you. 